Hello everyone. Welcome to new accounting lessons. In this lessons we are going to uh, discuss something about control accounts. So first of all we need to know about what does control account means. Control accounts are a means of providing correctness of the debitors and the creditors ledger accounts. Debitor ledgers means purchase ledgers and creditor, creditors ledgers means sales ledgers accounts. So if wanted to check the correctness of the accounts receivables ledger, one way we can do this by getting the information from different sources. What are the sources? The first one is the sales can be taken from the sales day. The cash received and discount allowed are recorded in the cash book. The opening balances can be taken from the prior month's closing balances. Anyway, now we would like to know about the types of control accounts. Actually there are three types of control accounts. First one is sales ledger control account that is called total debitors account. Other one is purchase ledger control account that is called total creditors account. And the last one is inventory subsidiary ledger. In this lesson, we will only discuss about sales ledger control account and purchase ledger control account because those are covering the syllabus. The first one purchase ledger control account this is uh, one kinds of t account which has both sides so in the left side let's look at debit is placing on the left side and right side credit is placing so we need to know first what what are the things are uh, placing in debit side of process ledger control accounts. In debit side, first of all, uh, in question there will be given opening balance of debit side and closing balance of credit side. Those opening balance will be given in the questions. So how you can identify this is opening balance? You need to look uh, at the um, date and year, opening date and opening year of the transactions. If you look at that, you will be uh, really identify what are the opening balance. It's given first almost. So what else in debit side? Let's look the payments to trade payables. Probably it would be given in the math. If it is given, you can uh, put in the debit side. Then discount receipt. If it is given in the questions, you can uh, put the amount in debit sides. Then purchase returns. If it is also given in the questions, you need to uh, put in the debit side contrast like contrast entries sometimes uh, it's given in the questions if it is uh, given in the questions you can add so if I mean this is not mandatory like each entry uh, should be given but this is the possible uh, entries which uh, can be placed on debit side. So among those, among them, if you get uh, each one, you need to place it on debit side. Then closing balance, closing balance of debit side uh, uh, purchase ledger control account. If it is given in the questions, uh, you can you will have to put the amount either you will have to calculate the amount so how you can calculate the amount uh, we are going to discuss there that later so now 
how about the credit side look in credit side which entries can come first of all let's start by opening balance uh, already I mentioned it is given in the questions then credit process and that is also given in the questions then interest charge that is also given in the questions returns that is also questions and I mean given in the questions so questions sometimes uh, sometimes questions represents cash amount of something so no need to add the cash related sales or cash related purses in purchase ledger control account or sales ledger control account so now the thing is the important thing is that uh, to calculate the closing balance of debit side and closing balance of credit side of process ledger control account so in this case questions represent debit balance and with the amount credit balance with the amount sometimes questions represent uh, debit balance end of the uh, questions uh, debit balance represent debit balance um, with the amount but credit balance which is missing or debit balance of purchase ledger control account which uh, is missing but credit balance of purchase ledger control account which is uh, I mean not missing which is given in this case you need to identify which one is debit balance which one is credit balance so I'm gonna give you very clear instructions if question requires debit balance the amount of debit balance should be added in the closing balance as a balance CD then that would be come to the following month uh, as a debit balance I mean that would be debit balance ba so, uh, sorry that would be debit balance BD anyway if questions uh, represents credit balance that means the balance is balance CD of debit side so though that is balance CD of debit side that's becoming balance BD for the following month as a credit balance so this uh, you need to um, I mean uh, remember about the tips or I mentions already whenever you uh, how you can find out the debit balance how you can find out the credit balance so I'm gonna explain again like debit balance means the mm, balance CD of credit side and the credit balance means the balance CD of debit side so whenever uh, you're putting balance CD of credit side as a debit balance that is becoming balance VD in debit side that's why it's called debit balance whenever you are uh, putting uh, balance uh, CD as a BD in credit side that is I mean uh, called debit balance so now I think you're very clear about the purchase ledger control account so now I would like to discuss uh, uh, something about the tips of uh, sales ledger control account so likewise the mm, purchase ledger control account it has two sides debit entries like debit amount and credit amount as a T account so in in the debit side what sort of entries are placing uh, the first one is start by opening balance it is uh, it will be given in the questions opening balance opening debit balance opening credit balance this is uh, this will be mentioned in the questions then what is next uh, credit sales it would be given in the questions uh, also question can uh, be given uh, cash sales but cash sales is not related to it uh, purchase le sales ledger control account or cash versus that is also not related to it purchase ledger control account 
So credit sales will be given in the questions. That's why the amount of credit sales uh, will placed on uh, debit side. Then refunds, which is if it is given in the questions, the refunds um, of sales ledger control accounts placed on debit side. Then interest, interest on sales. So that is uh, coming in debit side of sales ledger control account. Then Mm, dishonor check. Dishonor check is also, um, I mean, uh, placed uh, uh, on debit side. About the credit side, credit side is uh, as usual open uh, uh, start uh, by opening balance. Then sales return, that is uh, that will be given in the questions. Receipts from trend receivable, that is also given in the questions. Discount allowed, that is also given in the questions then bad debts that is also given in the questions contrast if it is given you can uh, include here either not so the more significant things is uh, closing balance how you can calculate the closing balance if questions um, represents uh, the closing balance uh, closing debit balance or, or closing credit balance so in this case mm, you have to apply the trick so how you can apply the trick if uh, question represent debit balance and amount so that amount debit balance means that amount uh, is balance cd of credit side and if question represent credit balance the credit balance means the amount is uh, the i mean the amount is balance cd of debit side so balance CD always uh, become balance BD for the following month. So I think you got, uh, I, I mean, clear information about the sales laser control account and personal laser control account. So thank you very much. Thanks for your watching. Allah Hafiz.